Today on Look What Jess Found, we found a couple interesting pennies. I'm going to do short, long um, videos to post up, which I like doing. This one here, obviously, is of a very, very, very dirty penny, right? Now, most people will say, don't clean that penny. And, and you would be correct. So let me, let me just put that out there, first of all. You would be correct to say that. Um, with that said, do you know what would happen if you try to um, submit this penny to, to a grading company? The penny that no one wants to clean, right? Do you know what would happen if you, if you submitted it? Let me show you. That's what would happen. Okay, they wouldn't grade it. How do I know? Because that's that's my uh, return. I spent fifty bucks for them to tell me they're not going to grade a, uh, that the penny wasn't suitable for grading. Now, I believe this should have been graded, right? Because of whatever I wanted the designation of whatever it was that was going on on the penny. And they said it was not suitable. Now, that penny, there's also a, um, I have an apology video, right? I'm going to put it up. There we go. Right? And this is the, and this is the next video I did after that one. You can find these in the, uh, right? So not suitable, right? My penny, and then I did an apology. Why did I do an apology? Watch that video too. Because I cleaned the penny, and what I thought was um, a lamination error turned out to be paint. Right? So... If I would have cleaned it first, I wouldn't have sent it in. Um, but I was so against cleaning coins that I sent it in that way. And that's the uh, response that I got was not suitable for uh, encapsulation, not suitable for circulate uh, certification. And that's what would happen if I sent this in. Same exact thing. I don't know if you can see it better with the light on or not. Probably not. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, let me shut off the light. See how. Yeah, it's probably better before, without the light. There's something going on over here. And it looks like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It could be a die clash. It could be a strike through. It could be um, debris, right? Uh, dropped on debris. but. You know, irregardless, it's basically a worthless penny outside of the uh, three cents that it's worth. There it goes on the rim. You see that on the rim? What is that? Tell me that doesn't look like um, debris. There it goes. I mean, I saw it better there. Too close. Now, that could just be um, junk that's glued there. I don't know. But look underneath it. It looks like there's another one that looks like a, a letter or something underneath it. I'm trying to get a good... Uh, but I'm, I need to know what it is, and they won't grade it in this condition. And I'm not saying I'm even going to get it graded, but I, I need to know what that is. Because this can go from worth three cents to worth... A lot more. Um, so I'm going to clean this as an experiment. And um, I just want to show you what happens if you try to, to submit a penny that's uh, not suitable. So in, 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 in probably 99% of the cases, there's no harm in cleaning. Now, polishing is something else. Remember, 
I'm talking about cleaning. I'm not talking about polishing, right? Polishing 100% damages the surface and you shouldn't do that. I do do polishing as an experiment and I can see the damage, man. It really messes up a penny. Um, definitely don't want to do that. I definitely wanna, don't want to use, I use the toothbrush too. Yo, those lines are super visible when you, when you clean a, a, a copper penny with a toothbrush, super visible, totally destroys the surface. Now, what some people do is they use um, Q-tips. Um, so I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do, except for I'm going to put this um, after today's videos. I'm going to put it into the jar with the uh, mineral spirits. I haven't had any bad problems with that. I'm, you shouldn't do it, though, unless you're a professional. All right, so please click like and subscribe. Let me know what you think this is in the comments below. I'm talking about right there. There's a little thingy. And below it, there's another thingy. We're going to find out, though. All right. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.